Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Can't believe it. Short sleeve day. It's amazing out. So, short topic today. Why fighting your symptoms is like swimming upstream. So, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this one just from the title, but uh, we'll get into it in a second. Relax your body. So your breath can take on a slower, more natural pace. That is a message of safety. It goes directly to the subconscious. There's no way your brain can perceive danger when your body is relaxed and breathing comfortably. If you're tight and tense and breathing shallow, it will perceive danger subconsciously. So be aware of the tension in your body and just not that you have to relax at all, all the time. But if you're like this and wondering why your symptoms are up, it may be a clue. So, why fighting with your symptoms is like trying to swim upstream. Have you ever tried to swim up a, upstream of a river? It's not easy. It doesn't work so well. How about paddle a kayak upstream? Got to work twice as hard. And you're battling. I was once uh, in a kayak. And I was paddling against a high, high wind. Felt like I was going backwards, even though I was paddling like crazy. Right. And that's what fighting your symptoms is like. You know, pushing, fighting, struggling to get better now. It takes so much more effort than going with the flow. Allow the symptoms to dissipate by not fighting, by teaching. Show the brain, I'm not concerned. Look, I'm not in a panic trying to swim upstream. I'm going to float. You ever hear the lazy river? It's like a ride at amusement parks or hotels. You float in a little inner tube and the current takes you around. It's extremely relaxing. When you recognize what creates symptoms and the fact that that applies to you, there's not much you have to do to fight to go upstream. Just relax, go with the flow. Symptoms will move on on their own. Cool sound of bird. Symptoms will fade away on their own when the brain feels safe. And look, if you are arguing for your symptoms and the technicalities that you may have read somewhere or been told somewhere uh, as the reasons you are broken, I'm going to say prove it. What's your proof that you're broken? In often cases, it is the symptoms themselves that people are holding on to to go, yeah, I am broken. Look, I got these symptoms. They're really intense. That's not proof. The only thing symptoms are proof of is that your brain is perceiving danger and that alarm system called symptoms is turned on, period. So I'm going to really encourage you that if you've been fighting your symptoms, getting stressed out, overthinking them, doing all these processes to get rid of them and getting frustrated and more frustrated the longer it takes for you to get rid of these symptoms because you keep on fighting and now you figure I got to fight harder this is not a fight, folks. This is an education process. You know, it's a teaching exercise. Teach yourself I'm not in danger by thinking, acting, and behaving as if that's true. Because it actually is true. How do I know that? Because if you've been following me, you've learned what the cause of symptoms are, perceived danger, and you've done the assessments, right? And for the people who say, where do I take the assessments? I, I mention it in most videos. Is this PDP.com? Is this TMS.com? Those are the assessments. There's a link to a pain test, 29 and above. That means you've got TMS and you can recover. If you answer the questions on the FIT assessment, which is also at is this PDP.com? If you don't see them, read the page. It's right there. I can't tell you how many times people say, I can't find the fit assessment. It's in the body of the text of that page. 
So take those questions, how many do you answer as true? And if you've got a bunch of symptoms, do it multiple times for each symptom. But if you've got one or more of those questions being answered as true, you have perceived danger, pain, or symptoms, TMS. So once you understand what causes symptoms and you've done the assessments and know that it's what's going on with you, there's nothing to fight anymore. Stop trying to swim upstream. Float. Go with the flow. There's nothing to fix, folks. That means there's nothing to fix. So what are you swimming so hard upstream for? Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Like I said, nice short video. Just a reminder, learn what causes symptoms. Best place to learn that, you can either follow my daily videos and hope I get to the points that, you know, uh, you need to hear or just go to dansfaststart.com. That is my fast start playlist. And in that playlist explains what causes symptoms, how to determine if that's what's going on with you, what the four foundational principles of recovery are, and then all sorts of ideas on how to create safety and teach the brain and how to go about the process of teaching your brain that you're all right. So... Stop swimming upstream. You're just exhausting yourself and exerting way too much energy on trying to heal yourself when in fact TMS, perceived danger pain, means by definition there's nothing to heal. How much time would you spend in the garage rebuilding an engine in a brand new car that's working perfectly? You wouldn't. So why are you spending hours a day trying to fix your mind-body symptoms? teach your brain you're okay. It doesn't take hours a day. It takes belief, knowledge, and a mindset that says, I'm already good. So even if the symptoms are up, I don't have to sweat it. I don't have to fight swimming upstream. So love you folks. And uh, guess we'll see you tomorrow. As always, take care.